going on Facebook just give me a second I'm just getting my things together here all right guys so what I have for you today is a new um, ICO that I bought into yesterday or the day before I don't remember but I um, I bought into an ICO called Latium, okay? I guess, at least that's how I think it's pronounced, L-A-T-I-U-M. Um, the website link is, of course, in the description of this video. And what I'm gonna do is um, do a little bit of a walkthrough. Now, I already did this process, but I was gonna do a little bit of a walkthrough because I know that um, some of you out there, I mean, you might've participated in ICOs before where you, you, know, you just buy them with Bitcoin and then withdraw them to their own wallet later. Um, Latium is an ERC-20 token, so basically what that means is it's a token that operates over the um, Ethereum platform. So we need to get an Ethereum wallet that supports um, ERC-20 tokens, and then um, you got to do a couple of little things in the wallet in order to get them to display and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, do a bit of a screen share here and look at Latium. We'll look at my Ether wallet and exactly how you go through this process. Um, and hopefully that'll help some of you guys out. So you just give me a second to um, get myself ready. Um, actually, let me just go back here. I'll flip over to my screen share. Ah, okay. There goes my phone. All right, you should be able to see my screen. And um, sorry, my phone's driving me nuts. It's vibrating in front of me. Somebody's calling me. Um, okay, so anyway, um, here's Latium. Here's the website. Again, website's in the in the description of this uh, of this video. Um, go ahead and hit that. And here's Latium. So basically, crowdsource the future. So I, I did a little bit of reading about this. I, um, I looked a little bit at the white paper and all that. Um, but more or less, I mean, go down. Here's the pricing and all that on the token. So they're nine cents a piece right now. Um, and they're going to gradually increase to 10, 11, 12 cents during the ICO. Um, I was lucky enough to get them at eight cents. But um, nine cents, still a good price for this, I think. Um, uh, there's a, a video here to explain it a little bit. Um, all your community links. I'm just going through this very quickly. The point of my video here is to show you guys how to do it, not really not really blabber on about um, Latium. But basically what it is, here's the paragraph here that tells you about what it's about. Again, the white paper, if you just scroll all the way to the bottom, like most ICOs, just go right to the bottom of the website and hit the uh, white paper link and you can read the whole white paper. But um, I'll just kind of sum this up a little bit. Um, this this ICO, the platform that they're developing, is a, a mobile app, basically. Um, I don't know if they have a web platform as well, but it's um, it's a, a mobile app platform um, based on a crowdsourcing um, for various tasks, okay? So um, anybody would be able to, like, like companies or individuals would be able to use this platform in order to hire people, hire the users of the Latium platform in order to perform specific tasks. So this task could range from, um, you know, going to a, a, a restaurant and, um, you know, giving a review on the meal or that you had at the restaurant or going to buy a specific product to give a review on or taking a survey or whatever specific task that the, the surveyor wants completed that the, you know, the, uh, the one that's buying the service, whatever they want completed, they would go to the Latium platform and um, buy like hire people using Latium tokens in order to perform specific tasks. So this, um, this particular ICO definitely scratches off, um, you know, a, a couple of points on the, the things that I look for when I invest in ICOs. And, um, and that that big thing is that it has a specific use case. Um, now there is a competitor as well to Latium, but there's, um, and I, I forget the name of it, I was just looking at it. But um, there's a, there's a couple of key differences in the way they operate and the this sort of the, the usability and the marketability of this Latium, like the whole user interface looks really, really cool by comparison to the competitor. So anyway, like to me, it looks really good. It has definitely has specific use case. 
Um, uh, roadmap is there. Um, white paper looks great. Um, they've been working on this for basically the entirety of, well, since 2016, actually. So this is a long-term project with a lot of development that's going on. Um, a roadmap, you guys can go over this. Again, I'm just um, I'm partnered with Wings. I'm just going through this as quickly as possible, all right? Um, but um, the team as well, um, they have quite a large team of developers and promoters. John McAfee is an advisor um, who I, um, I don't know why a lot of you guys don't like him. He's an asshole and I love this guy. I love him because he doesn't care about what anybody else thinks, just like me. Um, so I've been following that guy for quite a while as well. As he's not the reason that I'm investing in Latium, don't get me wrong, but um, just having his face on there means that probably um, down the road, I bet you he will um, pump the shit out of it on his Twitter. So that's a good thing. And when he pumps something on his Twitter, it usually flies. So, um, oh, here's the white paper link at the top as well. Sometimes at the top, sometimes at the bottom. Um, so yeah, go ahead and check that out, guys. Do your own research before you, you, you know, put some money into this and everything. But I'm just going to go ahead and log into my account and we'll just kind of take a look um, at the inside of here because I'm going to show you guys how to like actually make the transfer and all that and purchase. So and you can actually buy um, uh, LATX tokens with USD. Um, I didn't, but you got to um, include your details in there, which I really don't recommend. I recommend um, buying with Ethereum. So. Um, something I did notice, if you have an ad blocker, you have to disable your ad blockers or else this box will show up empty. And you'll see that my LATX balance is zero. This is because I've already transferred my tokens to my Ethereum wallet, okay? So um, this is your payment address. This is where you need to send funds in order to purchase LATX tokens. And you can send any amount of Ethereum. There's a minimum of um but um 0.1 ethereum okay so that's your minimum of 0.1 is what you can send um you can send in multiple transactions but you will not receive any latx tokens until you have a minimum of 0.1 ether in in this in this payment wallet okay so once they receive the payment it'll just automatically calculate how many tokens you get and shove a balance right here and you'll be able to see how many tokens you get and then what we do is we want to withdraw them get them off of this website and get them into our own secure ethereum wallet all right so you can go ahead here um, make a payment you can send this from an ethereum wallet and i mean what i did i just paid directly from um, my exchange because i wasn't holding any ethereum and with this ico not all icos but with this ico you can make a payment directly from an exchange because they allow you to enter your own receiving address that's different from your sending address. So um, that's something that you have to do. You have to go here and hit update address. I'll show you guys this in just a second. So um, uh, you can go ahead and make the purchase just like, just like normal, send Ethereum, whatever you wanna spend to this address, get your tokens. And then next step, we need to get an Ethereum wallet. If you don't have an Ethereum wallet, you're gonna to wanna to get something like my Ether wallet or Mist. Um, I use my Ether, Ether wallet, so that's what I'm going to show you. I have no idea how to use Myth, uh, Mist, but um, whatever. So we go to, again, the link for this is um, also in the description. Um, so we go to myetherwallet.com, and you will have to create a new wallet. Of course, I already have one, so you just enter a password in here, create new wallet, whatever. Um, when you want to view your wallet, um, well, it's going to let you view it, but... Um, you're gonna wanna download a, a key store, okay? It's a file um, that you get, um, and that basically is your, your private keys to your wallet, and it's all encrypted and everything. Best way to, best way to use my Ether wallet. Um, and you're gonna wanna save a couple of copies of this so that you don't lose it, but I just, I have one on, um, on a USB stick here. Let me load it up. And then unlock. And here we go. Okay, so this is what an Ether wallet looks like. Okay, um, and yeah, if you guys haven't yet, here's key store file. Um, you want to download this file? Okay, you just click download. It downloads right there. Okay, so that's that's and that's your file. You want to save multiple copies of this file. So save one on your computer, save one on your phone, save one on a USB stick, and put them in different locations because. Um, and the same thing when you're with your 12 words, you probably want to save your mnemonic seed. Um, 
so that you can, you know, for the purpose of recovery. But um, yeah, so anyway, that's all. Basically, you need this key store file. Um, here's your address. So you want to, you know, right click and copy this address and take this back to Latium. You're going to go here and click where it says update address. Boom. And, and right click and paste it in there and submit. I'm not going to do it right now because I already did it. But you're going to do that and submit it and um, get that verified um, into your Latium account. Okay, let me go back to the dashboard and then it should appear with the correct address right here your receiving address okay and then your okay that part's okay now um oh i don't have a balance but there's a, a there's should be i think it was right here there's a withdraw button and then you can withdraw your latx tokens um and it will be sent to whatever address is here so if you put the wrong address your tokens are gone Okay, so make sure you put your Ether wallet address in here. You cannot use an Ethereum receiving address from an exchange. If you do that, your tokens are gone. Okay, so use my Ether wallet. Use a wallet that supports ERC20 tokens. Okay, so that's why I'm showing you guys the Ether wallet right now. Now, once you've withdrawn your tokens, I mean, I, you can see right here that I have my 6,000 some odd LATX tokens. You will not see this information here right away i mean you can click here on tokens and it will load up uh, the ethereum explorer and you can see the lat your latium tokens here um, or if you guys just go to fexplorer.io slash address and put your ethereum address here you will be able to see your tokens but you will not automatically get to see your tokens here because we need to add a custom token like if you click show all tokens there's a whole shitload of tokens in here that my ether wallet um, already supports but they don't already have LATX listed. So all you do is click here where it says add custom token, okay? And that's why I put um, a couple other things in the description of this video, such as the token contract address. So just let me go over here, um, click see more on my video. Um, okay, and right here on the description of my video, I put this contract address, okay? And this is the contract address, the official contract address for LATX. Or Latium, okay. So we want to right-click, copy that, go back to your my Ether wallet, okay. Right-click and paste that into contract address, okay. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is in token symbol, we want to put L A T X because that is the symbol for the token. And in decimals, we want eight because this token is it goes to eight decimal places, just like Bitcoin, just like Ethereum. Um, other tokens may be different, but again, uh, Latium is using eight decimal places. So that's all you got to do, guys. And then hit save. And of course, I can't add it because it's already added in my wallet, but um, you uh, will be able to um, add it into your wallet. Just click save, done, and then um, it'll show up down here in your, sorry, I'm scrolling around a little bit. It'll show up right here as LATX, all right? So that's it. That's all you got to do to get it to show up. And now you are officially holding Latium in your Ethereum wallet where it is secure. Okay, let me go back to my camera here. All right, guys. Yeah, okay, so that's it. That's all you got to do to... Um, sorry, my ear is itchy. Um, that's all you got to do to set up your Ether wallet and um, and get your, your tokens. Um, yeah, Bill, thanks for joining. Um, I'm the man of the plan. Absolutely. Like, I'm, sp I'm spreading my risk out right now into, you know, a bunch of different things. And I'm, I'm pretty horny right now over the um, ICO. Um, markets investing in ICOs. I think that's you know if, if somebody's looking to you know get rich quick kind of kind of thing, um, ICOs are definitely where it's at. Um, it's just that it's also extremely high risk, right? So um, that's why I put a little bit of money into every ICO. So I only spent I only put a half an ether into um, into Latium. Um, again, if it turns out like Electronium and it goes 20x, you know, right on launch, basically like Electronium's done, then I'm gonna wish I put more in, but I mean, it's, you know, risk management, right? Um, Frank, morning. How's it going? Thanks for joining. Um, Matt, uh, Matt Crawford sent me a message in my inbox. It says, how much is LATX a coin? And the coins are eight cents. And what exchange is it going in? I have no idea what exchange is going to be on. Um, I don't think that part was in the roadmap as of yet. But that's... Um, that's the least of my concerns at the moment. I gotta log out in order to check this. If anybody does find out if they said what exchanges they've applied for, 
Um, let me know, but I don't actually know this information. Um, I can tell you that in 2019, they want to migrate to a full blockchain, so they'll no longer be an ERC-20 token. So that's really cool. So you're probably going to want to hold this for at least a year in order to take advantage of that. Um, I don't see on the roadmap anything about exchanges at this time. However, I don't... Um, I don't see the point of not being on an exchange, right? Okay, so yeah, basically I don't I don't have that information at the moment. So we don't know. Um, any other questions, guys? Um, that's okay. Any other questions, questions, questions? Or I'll just go ahead and wrap this up. Boom, bada boom, boom. All right, guys, if you got no questions, I'll go ahead, I'll just end this video. But um, yeah, okay, so there you go. There's your walkthrough on how to do it. Basically, most ERC-20 um, ICOs are the same. It's just that sometimes you actually have to send from the same wallet that you're going to receive your coins to, and that's how they, they do the tracking. In this particular one, you can send from any Ether wallet um, and then just enter your, your correct receiving wallet in order to... Um, actually receive your tokens to your wallet. But that's it guys, eight cents a token. Um, I think it's gonna be worth it because they have a very specific use case and it's um, uh, their their niche, their 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 product is, you know, it's it's a product, It's it's. I think their product will have high demand among um, surveyors and companies and things like that. So I think we're, um, I think we're okay to put a little bit of money in there. Again, do your own research. Um, practice risk management. I mean, don't put your 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 your, heart, your life savings into an ICO. I mean, sure, it might make you a millionaire, but it also might make you broke. So, um, yeah, whatever. Um, sorry, I'm just reading a bunch of messages here coming in. But yeah, okay, guys, um, I'm gonna go go ahead and end this video. Um, do your own research and stay profitable, guys.